Hey there, my name is Tony Drummond. In this brief video series, I'm going to walk you through everything you need to know about PrimeFi's test set in addition to decentralized lending and borrowing. Now, as a simple example, let's say I was really bullish on ETH and I wanted to leverage my position because I believed it would go up. What I would be able to do then is deposit ETH into PrimeFi and I would use that as collateral then. I would then be able to withdraw USDC. I take my USDC, I buy more ETH on Uniswap or whatever my exchange pr preferred exchange is. I then take that ETH, put it back into the platform, and now I have even more of my ETH position. I can keep doing that and borrowing more USDC and further leveraging as much as I'd like to based on my current risk level. Now that enables me to have an even higher ETH position. All this, by the way, based on my original ETH I provided as that collateral. Now what makes this platform even more unique is all this is done in a decentralized and trustless manner also across all the different networks using Layer Zero's technology. For example, I could deposit my ETH in Arbitrum and withdraw my USDC on base. All this completely trustless and fully decentralized. We also have the PRFI token. Now, PRFI is what's called an omni-chain fungible token. This also works seamlessly across the different networks by bridging seamlessly, minting in one and burning on another to maintain the same supply. Also, I can then take my PRFI, provide liquidity, and lock it in the platform and based on how long I lock it up for, I can earn even more yield within PrimeFi. For example, if I lock for a year, I'm going to earn even more yield than if I locked it for, let's say, one month or three months. So stay tuned throughout the rest of the series. We're going to show you all the things you need to pay attention to. Thank you very much for your time.